Okay, we repositioned our wash station to where we wanted it, further apart. And got to put the propane on, which we did. And verified the uh, cigarette light plug is plugged in. And now we're gonna prime by turning the power on. There we go. That's it. Now we need to set the temperature. Right now it's on slow. We'll, we'll start at that point. Give it a few seconds. Warm. Love it. Still not warm? It's getting warm now. Now that's warm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, completely off. It was eh, oh, not okay. much. Okay, that's actually pretty hot. Yeah, that's, so, that's fantastic. So now I can actually. <laughs> and to save on water, you can use a dish pan within the dish pan. Otherwise, it's a lot of water you have to put in here to yeah, it do is. the same job. So, is it uh, just right for the hands? Uh, it's it's actually quite hot. You could actually turn that down to a, a little quarter, bit more. Okay. A quarter of the way up. Yeah, I got on low flow, so yeah, low, the flow is even on low flow. That's that's plenty for dishes. I mean, like you don't need more than that. You took the cover off on the other side? Yeah, I, I didn't need the cover. I have this wonderful table beside me. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And how warm is it? Oh, that mixed with some cold, so you'd have to feel yeah. it coming out of the tap. And that's actually just right now. At, at, at a quarter for washing dishes, that's plenty hot like yeah. this yeah. yeah okay well this is probably our typical setup for washing dishes yeah now the reason the reason why we got this is to save on water in our trailer we have a, a fully equipped trailer Lots of water. It's just that uh, when you're doing a long period of boondocking uh, and using the water for everything, you probably get three or four days. If we do our dishes outside, like Vicky is doing right now, we can go 10 days or more. Now, we still use our showers and we still get 10 days. We didn't plan to get a shower system, but it came with it. So we're going to set it up next. And hopefully, by not using water in our trailer for showers, we'll be able to enjoy a longer shower period and save more water in the trailer for what we really need inside for cooking, stuff like that. Okay. You got any comments there, Vic, about it so far? Uh, I think this is great. Okay. Yeah, you have to have a, a table or something to set it up on because uh, if you if you have a bad back, yeah. doing it on the ground is annoying. But you know, a little folding table on top of the picnic table would work. It would be a little high, but it would work. But yeah. uh, no, this is this is nice. I can wash my dishes. Um, okay. I notice a little leak. Uh, yeah, there's a little leak here. Okay, I'll have to check the connections there later. Yeah. Okay, the leak was basically uh, the chassis connector itself was loose. So it was just a matter of tightening it and that took care of the leak. So, yeah, uh, of course, uh, we used it a few times since and we've 
are more efficient <laughs> and more organized. This was uh, an initial test. Well, in fact, it was our very first uh, wash test on this. So far, we love it. Thank you. Keep in mind that when you make a change to the temperature, because we were using a 30-foot hose, it took about 10 seconds for the change to be felt. So the longer the line, the longer it takes. When I take a shower, I never shut it off because lots of water now. And this way you don't have to wait for a change. And it's steady, same temperature all the time. It works great. Have a nice day.